Okay, so today we're launching out of Farrington Point. Uh, it's a pretty popular spot at Jordan Lake. Uh, it's got a, as you can see it behind me, there's a kayak ramp. And then there's a larger boat ramp over there. Sometimes they'll have uh, tournaments out of here and there's a gazillion bass boats here. But anyway, uh, the nice thing about this area is it's pretty close to the, uh, the bridge here. So we're heading right now. Uh, I'd say it's maybe, I don't know, half, half a mile at most. That's probably less than that. Uh, to the bridge, which is deeper water. And uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start out in deeper water. Uh, probably fish on the bottom or close to the bottom. Um, I've had pretty good luck catching crappy on the bottom or near the bottom uh, in the colder months. But as they do start to transition to the shallows, you'll find them a lot of times suspended. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Today we're using a double drop uh, bottom rig, at least for starters. Um, it's a pretty basic setup. We've got 10 pound line, <laughs> if I can grab it. <laughs> 10 pound main line with a little swivel up here. And then a couple of dropper loops with some, uh, these are probably six or eight aught true turn hooks. Uh, just regular cheapy crappy hooks work fine little gold ones. Got a snap swivel at the bottom, and then I like a 3 8 ounce uh, teardrop sinker. And as far as uh, rod and reel, um, I usually prefer an ultralight or sometimes a light, depending on what I might be catching. But ultralight gives you a really good sensitivity for um, for the fish. Set my drag fairly loose because they the crappy have such soft mouths. And uh, basically, just rig up with some minnows, and um, we'll kind of hop it along the bottom a little bit and hopefully catching fish. If we're catching mostly perch, we'll move around a little bit till we find some crappy and um, get a couple for the plate. Yeah. 
happy. It's a big. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the white bass. Look at that. Oh, I had to boot myself. Okay guys, well, it's getting late, I'm getting cold, and um, I think we did it right today. It took a while to find bait, um, but I didn't catch anything for the first two hours. Saw a lot of fish on the scope, but uh, sometimes it's hard to get them to bite. Even, even when you're experienced and you think you know what they're doing, they just get locked jaw in certain spots. So the trick for me today was going into deeper water I was seeing a lot of fish in the 13 to 16 foot uh, depth, but they were not biting. And finally, um, once I got out into the channel, a little bit deeper, um, probably 20, 23 feet of water, that's where they were feeding apparently. So caught some uh, perch, which I'll use for, I guess, bait tomorrow. Uh, caught a couple of really nice white bass, uh, including a 16 inch, which is you know, pretty good for me and uh, a few crappy and a nice slab that was maybe 13, 14 inches. Lost, lost a couple on the way up. Um, just hard with those little hooks. I think they tear out of the mouth so easily. But uh, anyway, did all right today. Gonna get, get, uh, get in, get home, get fed. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully to uh, see you tomorrow and uh, get some good pullage with the catfish.